by using a digital media player, we can access the video content stored on our Synology NAS and display it on a television. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can install and configure Synology's DS Video application onto an Amazon Fire TV. Out of the box, the Amazon Fire TV is not able to automatically play back video content stored on our Synology NAS. However, if we locate and select Search, and then type DS, we will be presented with a list that includes an option called DS Video. When we highlight and select DS Video, we are shown a list of results which will include Synology's DS Video application. Let's select DS Video. Please note that in order for this application to work, the app will require that we own a Synology NAS and that we are running the latest version of Video Station. As we've already installed and correctly configured Video Station, let's install the DS Video app onto our Fire TV. With the DS Video app now installed, let's select Open. You can see that we're first prompted to sign into our Synology NAS. So first we need to enter the IP address of our NAS or our Quick Connect ID. As our NAS and Fire TV are both connected to our home network, we will enter the local IP address of our NAS into the IP address field. Next, in the Account field, we need to enter the username for someone who has access to Video Station on our NAS. Please note that in order to sign into the DS Video app, we strongly recommend that you do not use the administrator's credentials for your NAS. With a valid username entered into the Account field, we now need to enter the user's password. When we select Login, DS Video will display the home page. Let's start by taking a look at the DS Video settings. Within settings, we have three options login information, video settings, and subtitle settings. Login information provides us with some basic information about the DS Video application, along with the account name that we've logged in with and an option to log out. Within Video Settings we have four options. The first option, Set Third Party Player as Default, allows us to download a third party player to our Fire TV and use that instead of the video player that's built into DS Video. As the video content that we've placed on our NAS is MP4, there's no need to enable this setting as MP4 is a standard that is fully compatible with the DS Video app. AC3 Passthrough will allow the DS Video app to output a digital signal to speakers that use Dolby Digital Surround Sound. While the television that we're using does not have Dolby Digital Surround Sound, it does no harm to leave this setting enabled. DTS, or Digital Theatre System, is a competitor to Dolby Digital, so DTS Passthrough is an alternative method for outputting a digital signal to a surround sound system. Finally, we have Mark Unwatched Videos, which is a useful feature that, if enabled, will mark any unwatched videos with a yellow dot. As this setting is disabled by default, let's enable this setting. Let's return to Settings and take a look at Subtitle Settings. As you can see, Auto Download Subtitles is enabled by default. However, we found that with this setting enabled, our video content would try to automatically display subtitles whenever we try to play content through DS Video. So we've decided to disable Auto Download Subtitles. Let's return to the home page. You can see that just below the poster art for each movie, we have an indicator displaying how much of a movie we have previously watched. As we have enabled the Mark Unwatched Video option, you can also see that we have a yellow dot next to each of the videos that we have not yet viewed. Let's try playing a video. You will find that each piece of content has its own landing page. 
So if your content has been assigned with the correct file name, Video Station will automatically fill the landing page with information about the content you've selected. At the top of the landing page, we have four options. Play, Video Settings, Playlist, and Mark as Watched. The options within Video Settings will display the file name for our video file and provide us with an option to play. Playlist will allow us to bookmark this piece of content as a favourite or add it to a watch list. This should make it easier to find this content in the future. Marked as watched is simply a toggle that will mark this video as watched or unwatched. Finally, if we scroll down through the landing page, we can see a description for the movie we're about to watch. Let's try and play this video. After a short delay, the video will start to play. If we use the Fire TV controller and press the down button, a heads up display will appear. We can now use the controls within the heads up display to rewind, pause or fast forward our video. We also have two icons which will allow us to adjust our subtitle settings. The CC icon allows us to download and choose a subtitle language. However, so far we found this feature not to work very well. Within the settings icon, we have a number of options that will allow us to control how the subtitles will look and behave. To exit from our video, we simply need to use the back button on the Fire TV remote. Once again returned to the landing page for our movie, we can now choose a different piece of content or exit from the DS Video app.